All practice pages and other materials for learning cursive are available at my Teachers Pay Teachers store at www.teacherspayteachers.com slash store slash and dash Fosnight. Learning Cursive Lesson 16, lowercase h. We can see that a printed h looks similar to a cursive h. It had the connector that made a loop and it has a connector at the end and it's slanted, but hiding inside that letter, we can find the printed H. The next two space under curved letter is an H. An H is made with a beginning like an L, a tall under curve that goes up to the headline, curves slightly back to the left, and has a slant line straight down then we trace up that slant line with an over curve, touch the midline, slant down to an under curve. So we have a two space loop, slant, trace up the slant with an over curve, slant, under curve. One more time, a two space loop, a slant line down, trace up the slant line with an over curve, slant, under curve. We want to make sure when we're making these that we're touching the baseline and the headline and that the over curve touches the midline. As you prepare to do the lowercase h practice page, remember to have your desk nice and cleaned off just your paper and your pencil. Have your paper turned properly, slanted towards the top of your desk. Make sure you're sitting up straight and that you've written your name neatly on the lines. We'll look at our model of our H over here. We see that it touches the baseline and the headline and the midline with the over curve. We're going to practice it. Now we're going to talk about some do's and don'ts. When you make an H, Straight up there with the under curve, slant down, over curve, slant, under curve. A slant up, over, straight line down, straight line back up and over, and a slant and an under curve. Under curve, loop over, slant down, trace up and over, slant down, under curve. One thing we want to make sure we do is keep the loop small and straight. The loop should really cross at about the midline. You see how it's right there at the midline? When we trace up, we want to touch the midline, come back down in an under curve. One thing we don't want our letter to do is slant in at the bottom of the slant. Sometimes this happens. We get a curve in here and it starts looking like a K. We want to make sure we do not do that with our H's. We want that over curve to be nice and straight in an over curve. Now you're going to practice your tracing row and your row on your own and another row to practice and another row on your own. Then we will be ready to connect H's.